It's important to lock out and tag out correctly when working with hazardous energy. Anytime you're completing work orders that involve hydraulics, pneumatics, plumbing, and electricity, you're required to use your lockout tagout kit. A lockout tagout is required for every person working on a repair. If there are six technicians, you'll need six lockout tagout kits. It's possible that you could be seriously injured from an unexpected startup if you don't follow the lockout tagout process. Your kit, which should be available at all times, contains locks, keys, tags, and circuit breaker lockouts. The lockout tagout process consists of five steps. Just remember the following phrase important to lock and tag correctly. First, identify the energy source. Then, turn off the power. The third step is lock it. Next, you need to tag it. Be sure to fill out the tag including your name, department, and expected date of completion. The final step is to check to make sure there is not power running to the source. If you have completed all of the steps properly, it should look like this. Hazardous energy can be extremely dangerous. Be sure to have your kit available at all times and use the five-step lockout-tagout process. And remember, it's important to lock and tag correctly.